Hey guys and welcome to today's video. In this video I'd love to show you how to make this gorgeous little poppy just in time for Remembrance Day. So jumping straight in, you'll need a ball of red yarn, a ball of green of your choosing and a little bit of black just for the just for the middle bit here. You'll need your trusty 4mm crochet hook, a yarn needle and a pair of very sharp scissors. So jumping straight in with the red yarn, what we're going to do is create an open magic ring. Just like so. Get comfortable. And then the first stitches we're going to do is chain four. And now into the magic ring, we're going to put eight double treble crochets all into the ring. So to do a double treble, we're going to yarn over once, twice, three times. So we've got four loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the ring, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through two loops, two loops, two loops, and two loops. So four times, and that is a double treble in US terms. So that's the first one and I'm going to pop seven more in there. So again, yarn over once, twice, three times, so there's four loops on the hook, and then pull it through two loops at a time. So I'm just going to count them. So that first set of chains doesn't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. That's eight double trebles into the magic ring. Next, I'm going to chain four. And I'm going to slip stitch straight back into the magic ring, pulling everything nice and tight. Just tighten my ring a little bit. There we go, so that's the bottom of the poppy done. So now for the top part, to start off, we're going to chain four times again. And now we're going to put four double trebles into the magic ring. Now we're going to chain four again and slip stitch back into the magic ring. 
I'm just going to tighten my ring a little bit more but not fully close it yet as we're just going to tidy up this edge quite a bit. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to chain one and then into this large gap here between the first row of chains and the first double treble, I'm going to pop four single crochets into this gap here. And next I'm going to single crochet into the top stitch of each double treble and the first one is quite a tight one just there just on the very top just normal single crochets across all of them And then again into this large gap between the last double treble and the chain cluster I'm going to pop four more single crochets in there. Next I'm going to slip stitch into the magic ring just to bring that in nicely then I'm going to chain one and pop four single crochets into this gap again between the four chains and the first double treble on the top side and again I'm going to pop single crochets across the tops and the first one is just a bit niggly, there we go. And then again, four single crochets into this large gap. And now finally for the red, I'm just going to slip stitch back into the magic ring. And now I'm going to take my scissors and give myself quite a long tail as I'm going to sew everything together using red. Pull my ring fully closed, nice and tight, and there's the base of the poppy. So the broad bit is the bottom, short bit's the top. I'm just going to pop a knot in here and I'm going to get rid of the small original magic ring tail by taking up my yarn needle. I'm just very carefully threading it back through some of the magic ring stitches, just, just a few. So now the base is done, let's move on to the centre piece. So just taking up a little bit of black, this is the easiest bit, apart from it's made in black, sorry, is we're just going to magic ring with eight stitches.
I'm just going to tie these ends together, double knot. And then trim it as close to the knot as I dare go. There we go. And now finally for the leaf, take up your green. And we're going to start with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain nine. Now in the second loop from the hook, so that's this one here, you see there's the first, this is the second, we're just going to pop a nice single crochet in there and then working back down to the first chain we're going to half double and then double crochet and treble another treble double half double and then in the last stitch we're going to increase. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch. And now working on the flip side, so that's back up this side, the first stitch will be a half double, then a double, then a treble, another treble another double a half double crochet and then finally a single crochet in the last stitch now I'm just going to join this up with a nice slip stitch into that first stitch there, like so. I'm going to take my scissors and leave not much of a tail, because I'm going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to thread this tail all the way back up to where this one is, tie them off together and then again snip the yarn as close to the knot as I dare. There we go, there's my leaf. So now is the very fiddly bit, is uh, sewing all these together. So we're going to go with the spot on the centre and then the leaf just on the side there, make sure it points to 11 o'clock and make sure that the broadest side of the poppy is on the bottom. Now when it comes to sewing things like this, which is classed as an applique, the best thing to do is to uh, just snag the bottom loop, which is the one that's closest to the bottom, the base, uh, the front loop is the one closest to me, the bottom loop is the one that's closest to the base here. So I'm just going to poke my, my needle up, I'm going to grab hold of that bottom loop, just snag it, pull it up, 
And I'm going to thread through one of the posts here. Make sure that you play around with your placement as well. Just grab that bottom loop. Go through one of the posts. That's through the stitch completely, not underneath. It goes through the stitch. And then again, grab hold of the bottom loop. Just snag it through the post. I mean, I'm not the best sewer when it comes to sewing things like this. I'm used to sewing amigurumis, so I'm not a neat freak when it comes to things like this. There we go. So now the black is sewn on as neatly as I can manage. I'm not the greatest sewer when it comes to appliques, like I said, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to take the leaf Make sure the bottom where the knot was tied is at the back. So this is the point here. Uh, my knot is um, here. And then we're just going to hold it in place and very carefully sew it on. And again, we want to try and snag these back loops. Although with this leaf being on the back, it doesn't matter if it's as neat as what the uh, black centre had to be. And again, please make sure that the leaf is facing 11 o'clock. I'm just going to go through the posts again where I can and snag that back loop. I'm not too bothered about the leaf being sewn on neatly as you really won't see it. And again, please play around with placements as well. And remember that this will move as you sew it, so really make sure that you hold on to it. There we go, that's not too shabby. I'm saying I've only made these. I'm pretty happy with that one. So to finish off, I'm going to work as closely as I can to the magic ring, depending where I finished off. And I'm just going to sneak my needle through some of these stitches that are on the magic ring. And then again, I'm just going to snip it off as closely as I dare. And there we go, there's your gorgeous little poppy applique. I'm going to pop a few onto uh, some safety pins so I can wear them for Remembrance Day and uh, give some to the British Legion so they can sell them for their charity. So there we go, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make this poppy and I really hope to see you in the next video. Once again, thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.